Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your February reading of this current year. Yay, yay. Gemini and cross watchers alike, this is for the sign in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Nor is it any of your damn business, unless you're nosy, which is not a bad thing at all. Especially if you don't get caught. Anyway, Geminis and cross watchers. I feel like someone's getting clapped back to here. That's what came to my head as I was looking back at it. It's like the clap back is strong. Man, the clap back is strong in this one. We have somebody who's not taking any action and taking a leap of faith in their energy, right? In this situation, Gemini, this could be you, also a Libra or an Aquarius. Not in the mood for bullshit, looking for little bad, naughty things, but that shit might get cut to an end, I feel like. Or they're trying to end something, one way or another. But so, for some reason, this action's getting cut out with the three of wands. And it's where I'm saying cut out instead of just ended, but that's what it feels like with her energy. Um, wants and wishes... Two of Cups with the Eight of Wands both reverse. There's like no action happening with the separation going on right here. And somebody wants something to do with that. Um, but down below is the obstacle, which is the Hermit or the Alien reverse with the Six of Cups. Someone needs to look back at themselves to see how they dealt with a past relationship I feel like someone walked away from because this dude's right here and he's walking away from it and these kids are like rivers of the past and shit right fears and rejections though it's like someone's nasty attitude got them caught up in some bullshit and I think that's what they're afraid of with looking back on all this shit but then we got the hey Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. No, I need to be up. It's fucking afternoon. Mm. I was thinking about waking you up at 2, but I didn't know. But then, in how this shit starts, how it'll end, Gemini. King of Swords reversed with the Peach of Pentacles reversed. Both of them. Right. You, or another air sign, probably was kind of shitty, to be honest. Beginning theme, like you threw your rods into the air and they came back and whacked you in the head. Gemini, this could be you or this could be Crosswatcher, but someone got a clap back. So let's see, why is this person not taking any action to take a leap of faith to initiate this very clean slate? Oh, because they feel victorious. Okay, they're just like, I'm cool with it. I am cool with it. Hmm. Like they love you in spirit? <laughs> How strange. very very strange like that like that's a weird way of thinking that they they feel victorious because they still love you in spirit gemini or maybe you just feel f victorious because you feel fulfilled in yourself and that's probably why you're not doing anything about this because this could also be you as well um, um really s s could be snooping but deciding to end that because you could be coming out of a bad situation with somebody else seeing the light in the relationship could be dealing with a capricorn they might take action or you could be the one to take action to try to bring this relationship to light or try to make it whatever right or do you think so somebody in this relationship with you is going to be the one to make the first move like are you tired of waiting to see if that's what's gonna happen Like, 
like, are you waiting for someone to get back to you? And that's the clap back because they don't? Because I feel like that's part of it. It's like, why haven't they said anything? <laughs> or maybe you're waiting to see if someone's going to take action towards you. And that might not work in your favor, I feel like. Wants and wishes, two of cups with the eight of wands. But it's reversed. It feels like this non partnership is still stagnant. You're just sitting there waiting and watching. Just being like, when the fuck are you going to get like, ready? Mm. Not a very good investment. Takes you back down to the six of pentacles where it's like you're wondering about fairness or whatnot. Or it's going to make you worry about fairness. And then you're going to go down to here with the obstacles and challenge. Where it's like, you need to come out and understand where possibly something might have went backwards or wrong. Which, mind you, we got the king of swords with the page of pentacles. Both of these people reverse. And neither one of them have good attitudes or good social skills with other people. And they're both kind of end over here. Now, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> But I might be that guy. Just warning you. Um, Gemini and Cross Watcher. Mm, yeah, sour emotions. Being a little bit immature with shit. Oh, what is this? Were you in the mood to make someone bow down to you? Is that what this is? It's like over yonder here in the energy it's like you feel like you don't have to take a leap of faith because it's like oh we're already lovers or whatever right but it was like at some point you let your emotions get to you and gemini you're really not one to get in emotions right you're an air sign very 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 flowing energy but once you got in that emotion it was like it was to the point where like you just wanted to make someone bow to you because it made you feel superior but it kind of knocked this person on their knees and it was just kind of like hmm and now it's like, oh yeah, they're gonna do, do all the fucking work. They're gonna do the work. Like, they're supposed to. It's like... Hmm. Because Gemini, you can be real bullies when you want to be. Like, you don't care. Like, you'll say whatever just to prove someone right about you. Because that's just how you are sometimes. Let's see. There's this one chick, Sarah. Sarah, if you're watching this, I miss you and I hope you're doing well. Mwah. <laughs> I think I, I hope that's your name because I really don't remember but I do remember you're a Gemini and I know you're going on great adventures so. Prince of Cast Reverse with the Seven of Swords Reverse someone's shitty fucking emotions <laughs> they're a little older with their shitty emotions but they might have realized that they could have tripped them up a little bit Particularly with this person from the past is like, yeah, you, you might have let your emotions get to you a little bit and that person was there trying to wave hi or whatever. Um, but the shit's worked back in the day before. But now it's like tripped you up somehow. How does shit start? How to end? You might be a dick. You might become a dick and not really be as nice as you should be, you know hoping someone's gonna ride up for emotions for you or you could be like I did this because I love you <laughs> but I feel like that's not really the case or you really don't know what to do hmm. what's your ending theme dear you're trying to figure out what choices to make after you threw your sticks in the air and clunked everybody in the head that's what you did it happens, man. No worries. Let's see. Alright. Sexy man. Let's see. For your energy and shit, y'all. Ah, uh, yeah. There might have been some regrets somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. And, oh, it feels like a repeat. 
Yeah, because you had that victory with how you set up this pairing, but it's like you're expecting that person to do the work. After you kind of, like, you know, break their fucking spirit like a horse. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of harsh. Anyway, let's see. The situation, right? There needs to be a communication hat, guys. Or to fix something here, for sure. But you can't, but you can't be a dick about it. Like, look at him. Like, he put his ram on his feet just so he could have something to put his feet on, like a stepping stool. Look at all mean and shit, you know? Like go over and like make the person feel better you know offer them a cookie but not really any sort of love just uh, delegations and conversations about how to fix everything after the conflict but not really letting go possibly yourself of the situation Gemini and cross watchers you know, like if someone sniffs funny and makes you think of the situation and then you're all mad all over again Wants and wishes. I'm trying to see if this shit flourishes, but I feel like it's gonna knock you down a peg. Yeah, there needs to be some sort of like looking over the rules once over again. Like you actually have to go to someone, they gotta be like, look, it's like this, right? Like you can have a wish to have a servant all you want. Right, but eventually you're gonna have to like they're gonna look at you like hey can we um actually like you know talk or whatever now you need to not be f so focused on what you're looking at for because they're looking at you for some indications because if you don't they're probably just gonna tell you whatever it is that like makes them comfortable and leaves the rest for you but then when you walk off in a fucking huff or whatever it's just gonna be like meh um, now there is an expectation that they're gonna pull some tricks or whatever but it's only in an effort to halt whatever could be, which is possibly your wrath. And mind you, the King of Swords... Isn't he out? Yeah, he's out here and so is the Empress. So yeah, probably come up like a total douchebag, not saying much of anything, but it's still expecting some sort of self-reliance or self-care to be had, but just brought on by another person. So it would just be like a day spa. It'd be like a day spa. Anyway. Maybe someone needs to drink from the spa of life. Mm. Maybe it was designated that this shit was supposed to end. Or maybe that's the desired law. Either way, Gemini, that's your card, and you look disgruntled. You look like, I get, this motherfucker gave me an apple, and all I want is another apple. <clears throat> Obstacles and challenges. Where someone was on their feels and put somebody else on their knees, which I feel like could have been you, Gemini. You do possibly need to take this leap of faith, whether you want to or not. You might even see another avenue you weren't looking at originally to help you along the way. Um, something to do with the sneaky nature and the shit that, like, you probably don't want exposed. <clears throat> you might go another way <laughs> to make sure that that's not exposed. Whatever it could be. Fears and rejections. Yeah, there's this energy of someone could easily crush another person, like they sit in the palm of their hands like a little pet lizard, right? That's bad juju. Ah, whoever this king of wands is could be Leo Sag Aries, right? Gemini cross watcher. Um, whatever it is they offered to whoever it is that they offered it to because I feel like this is somebody who definitely got clapped back by not being clapped back at all just straight up like I don't know like silent treatment like but not like the bad way where it's like a punishment but more like in the way where it's like you know like I just don't I'm not wasting any more time with you like, you know, if you're wasting my time, like, you're out, kind of thing. It's just kind of like, whoever this was that was, like, having the I can crush you with my bare hands energy wasn't really, um, giving something to somebody that was valuable. It was like, oh, well, this is a, it's kind of like, um, you know, why would you invest your time with someone who's not going to 
I guess, treat you like an equal or something, I guess? Or, I don't know, it's just, it, the lizard's in his hand, and I feel like it's like, you know, like, it, it's almost like a, a threat. <laughs> It's almost like a threat to somebody. It's like, oh, I'm not going to treat you very well. And that was like the offer that somebody saw and realized, you know, like, oh, well, this is just, that's going to be a problem. I, I, I don't do well with threats, and I really don't like people who um, come in with empty th threats either. Because I feel like this person, like, whoever this is, Gemini and Crosswatch are kind of new. That it was some bullshit. Like, whatever this person said, it was just like, oh, okay, you're gonna come at me with that shit, right? Okay, well, whatever. How does shit start, total end? Someone feels like they need to be given... Someone's gonna get treated like a no. <laughs> like, whoever's coming running in this meadow, that's the person who's been, like, up to some idiotic shit. You know, they're gonna come up and be like, I just want the clap back, just give me the clap back, I don't care. And the dude's like, oh, okay, little fella, here's your coin. Uh, it's like whatever was offered Gemini and Cross Watchers, it was from a position where someone thought they had authority over another person, and that was the fuck up. And that's why it seems like. Okay, so we got this person right here who is, um. I feel like exerting the authority, being like, oh, this person's gonna do it my way or the highway, right? This is the person who isn't accepting the shit. The person with the my way or the highway, King of Wands, reverse, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, what he's offering is pretty much bullshit. And the person who is getting offered it, this little gnome running through the meadow to get it, th that's how this person sees it. It's like, you're gonna be excited to get this pentacle and take the ass beating that comes with it. <laughs> Come here, little fella. <laughs> okay, I hope that made more sense in this, because that's what it feels like. It's like, um, Gemini Cross Watcher, if you're offering this pentacle, which I almost think that you are, you're offering to someone you think is a total fucking no. Just dumb as shit. They should be happy to take this in the beating that they get daily, or some shit. I don't know. It's like... Which is the fucked up part. It's like, you don't even look at them as your equal. Like, so it's kind of like... It might be why they... Yeah, it's a setup. They know this. They know it's a setup. <laughs> like, they don't trust you. Like, they're expecting you to eventually to come in with something, Gemini. One more. But yeah, they, they know... Like, it's like a setup position. If this isn't you doing this, it's the other person. But, like, it's a setup. But I really feel like this is you. Because y'all can be little tricksters when you want to be. But yeah, it's like... Mm. Yeah, trying to make it look like you're helping a person. Or they're helping you. Mm. I'd be very, 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 very careful, Gemini. You could be dealing with another air sign or another Gemini for sure. But, yeah. Quite creepy. Anyway, um... That's the end of the read, y'all. Yay. So, uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, or subscribe. You ain't got to if you don't want to. I greatly appreciate it. It's whatever. But, I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.